NSF checks. Let's talk about handling NSF checks that we receive from our customers and how we account for them within our QuickBooks software. We open our mail today and we received a notice from our bank that one of our customers, Mr. Bob Crenshaw, bounced a check to us. The first thing we want to do is come in here into the Customer Detail Center and let's look up Bob Crenshaw. The notice from the bank says that he bounced check number 2109 and it bounced on December 23rd. The first thing we want to do is come in and properly adjust our cash balance. So let's come in to our chart of accounts and let's come to our checking account and double click. We have two things we need to record here. We need to record the fee that the bank is charging us for the bounce check. And then we need to record the $200 being deducted out of our account. So first, let's record the NSF fee from our bank. They're charging us $15. And the account we're going to charge it to is bank service charges. In the memo field, let's put in a memo, NSF check, Crenshaw. And let's record this transaction. The next thing we need to do is deduct the $200 out of our account. In our number column, let's put in NSF check. And the payee is Crenshaw and the amount is $200. Now here's where it gets interesting. The account that we want to charge this to is accounts receivable. Let's scroll up here in our chart of accounts and here's the account we need to charge this amount to. In the memo field, let's put in NSF check number 2109 and let's click record. Now we have properly adjusted our cash balance for the NSF check. Let's close this window and the next thing we need to do is charge Bob Crenshaw a fee for bouncing the check. To do this we're going to use the enter statement charges feature within QuickBooks. Here. Enter statement charges allows us to enter line item charges on statements. They work just like invoices except that we don't have to go through the invoicing function. Now, you can see here where the NSF check we just recorded is reflected and increased Bob's balance by $200. Now, let's charge Bob a fee for the NSF check. In order to use statement charges, we have to use items. Let's demonstrate this by coming into our item list. We'll scroll down and you can see that we have an item set up for NSF fee. Double click on it and you can see we charge $35. Click OK and let's close this window and let's use the item NSF fee. $35 with a message fee for your bounce check. Now we can click on record and you can see that Bob's balance went up. He now owes us $17.76. Let's send Bob a statement. Let's close some of these windows and let's come down here to statements and for activity let's change this to the month of December statement date the end of December and 
We want to send it for one customer, Bob Crenshaw. And let's preview this statement. Now let's enlarge this a little bit and you can see here where we received the payment here and then we recorded the NSF check and the fee. We're ready to send this statement to Bob and have him issue us another check. And that's how to handle NSF checks you receive from your customers with your QuickBooks software.